Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a MySQL server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed MySQL server along with MySQL Workbench. So simply click on get it now and then click on continue. After that, from this product page, simply click on create and then you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as MySQL. After that, choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. And once that is done, simply make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the size of the virtual machine according to your requirements. After that, simply provide the username and the password for the administrator account on Windows Server 2019. Remember that this is the account that we would be using for the RDP connection to our virtual machine. Once that is done, simply click on review plus create. Now this is going to start a validation process. So simply wait for the validation process to fully complete. Once the validation process is done, simply click on this create button to actually create this virtual machine. Now you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page simply click on connect and choose RDP. After that, simply click on this button that says download RDP file and once that RDP file is downloaded, simply click on it and it would launch the RDP connection. So click on connect and it is going to ask you for the credentials that you created while creating this virtual machine. So after typing in the credentials, simply click on OK and it is going to show you another prompt which is going to tell you that you're trying to connect to a remote host. So click yes and wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been made, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now as mentioned before that this image comes with pre-installed MySQL and MySQL Workbench. Now in case you want to create a new database inside MySQL, then simply open up MySQL Workbench from the desktop icon. Now inside this MySQL Workbench, simply click on this option that says Local Instance MySQL. This is basically your entire database on your machine. Now as you can see that we were able to log into our MySQL without using any password. Well that was because the root password was set to blank. Anyways, now there are two different ways of creating a database inside this MySQL workbench. The first way is to write the MySQL command. So simply come over here and type in the command create database and then the name of the database that you want to create. So I'm going to go with the database name as demo1 and after that simply click on this thunder icon to execute this SQL command. Now as soon as you click that icon, you can see that create database demo command was successfully executed. Now to see the newly created database, simply click on this schemas right over here and then click on the refresh button. Now as you can see on the left panel that our demo1 database has been created. Now the second way of creating a database is by coming over to this icon and clicking it. Now it is going to open up a new schema wizard. A new schema is a way of creating a database in MySQL as well. So give your database or your schema a name so I'm going to call this one as demo2 and then click on apply. As soon as you click apply it is going to show you the command for creating a schema in MySQL and if you click apply it is actually going to execute that command for you. And then just simply click on finish and as you can see in the left panel the database has been created. Now let's talk about resetting the password for the root user. Well to do that simply click on administration right over here and then go over to users and privileges. But we are only concerned with the root user. So go over to the root user and then change this password field to whatever password that you would like. After that simply click on apply and you have successfully changed the password. To verify this, you can close this instance of MySQL and then click on this tiny settings icon. And in here, you can test the connection with your database. So if I press on test connection, it is now going to ask me for the password because now it is not blank. So type in the newly created password and then click on OK. So you can see that the connection was successfully made. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. 
Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up MySQL server running on Windows 2019 on Azure. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.